But Fish is kind of back, by the way. Fish is so Cause, yeah, because I know you got because I know you got flack on your season for saying fish. Yes, right. Give me to tell you the actual story of like when this first came about. Okay, tell us. <laughs> so. Hey, welcome back to another episode. I am your favourite drag diva from London, LaBelle. Go on. I'm going on. My <laughs> name's Dee Delicious. I'm new here. She is very new and I'm the KV. And I'm the PJ, baby. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> but today, honey, it's giving Brick Versace. <laughs> yeah, but but Brick Versace. Is, is. And we are the, the girls. girls. Yes, honey, we're back, back, back. Extra special guest. Yeah, Ooh, baby. We got our first international fish of the day. Absolutely. Well, you know, I'm I'm such a big fan of the girls, and I'm such a big fan of each of you girls individually. Um, so you know, it's it's really a dream come true getting to sit here. <laughs> <laughs> and Kiki with the baddest bitches. Isn't and it, it the biggest luxury production set? Yeah, um, so yeah it's, we've it's, got like the five crew members out there. Everyone, everyone, say hi. All the crew members. Hi, <laughs> hi, everybody to our live studio audience. Yeah, all, yeah. Them, yeah. All, them, yeah. all them five chicken wings over on this counter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this rivals Trixie Mattel's studio set. I will say, you know, okay, having experienced it myself, ah, it ain't okay, shit did. compared to this. No. <laughs> Official PJ stamp. Yeah, mm. this is also not sponsored by Wingstop. No, no, but no. I wish it was. Our poor sister was ravenous. Girl, I'm. I was famished. Mm. I was quite starved. Mm. Um, and I'm sitting next to all you skinny, skinny girls. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw the eye and I did it. Actually, actually, hold on, DJ um, Boof. <laughs> Well, no, but well, the two big girls are sitting on the same couch, so <laughs> right, yeah. that's poor wobbly oh, legs right now. We're it. we're really leaving an impression on this couch. <laughs> I'm so sure. fast. Well, thank you for coming on the pod because, mm -hmm. like, you love us, but we fucking love you, and you're <gasps> our favorite US <gasps> diva. We since your episode, we've just been obsessed. No, y'all are truly. So sweet. And and it was such a gag to hear like Crystal like saying such like nice things about me being like we live for plain Jane. Crystal and Didi, honestly. You reviewed it when did we say on yeah. the pod. You uh -huh. reviewed it on the it pod back in your old we? house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was that <laughs> she period don't of time <laughs> where, <laughs> no, where it was kind of the beginning where everyone was really like Ugh, about mm -hmm. plain just because mm -hmm. of the way you were coming across. But we saw through it and oh, we were like we lit. But yeah. we were like but we just know like give it time people are going to live for you and all mm. these little 10 year olds whoever who watch Drag Race yeah. talking all that they're mm -hmm. gonna turn around and go oh my god I love her so much we just <laughs> yeah. weren't ready for that no. no and even we were talking earlier let's announce the elephant in the room the elephant <laughs> is Eureka in here? Yeah. No, you'd be able to tell. It's a chicken girl. But it's not, <laughs> not too much. <laughs> we do look like the ultimate sisters today yeah Welcome you do to the house of Versace honey Thank you. You've been painted down uh, over on Crystal's YouTube. No, it's been a long time coming because, no, like, I literally, it's kind of embarrassing, but I literally am genuinely, like, a Crystal stan. Like, down. <laughs> like, down. Like That she, is Jesus Christ superstar. Literally, every single, like, every single, even, like, Rue girl that I meet, I'm like, um, yeah, anyways, like Crystal Versace, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. You know, you know her, right? You know her, like, she's, she's so fierce, <laughs> right? Go. Like any type, of, yeah, they're like, um, they're like, huh, who? They're like, who? And then I'm like, well, who are you? And <laughs> Sasha Valour, bitch. That's, uh, that's, that's who I am. And I'm like, okay, I guess. All right, fine. But um, I feel like in my eyes, you are like the, the drag standard in like a lot of ways. And you're one of the girls who, even though you were on like, you know, an international franchise, uh, you know, who cares? Gross. RuPaul clearly doesn't even give a shit about international franchises. Oh, if you watch yeah. Global All Stars, hello. Um, <laughs> But, you know, yeah, I just feel like you're one of the girls who, are, who like, set a new standard for, for like, drag on Drag Race. Thank you. Like, not, no, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make a blanket statement like you invented anything, but, you know, you kind of did invent, like, the modern, you know, KV aesthetic, Thank honey. You. And there we're all trying to catch up. Where's the camera? Where's my camera? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's it's sickening. Like, the contrast, the mug, the mm. contrast that you do, I feel like I, I started seeing so many girls, like, doing doing that, like, white, heavy white under eye and, like, right. contrasted, like, cut contour. Um, and, like, I tried 
that that's why my under eye is so white honestly i i started trying to do the same thing as crystal well, so thank you honey yeah of course i do appreciate that gotta give a credit where it's due yes. honey, yeah bitch a pretty penny to say that yeah mm-hmm. she got paid she got paid a wing stop everyone give it up for playing jane that was amazing <laughs> i got my wings girl yeah, yeah. Wings. <laughs> no so let's get into that because i feel like what you just said is kind of one of our topics we want to talk about all the things you say on Twitter about like the body queens. Cause obviously that's what you worship and yeah. that's what you love is yeah. the body. I do. Yeah, I do. I, I love like, um, I don't know. I have like, some people say that I have like an old school approach to like new school drag, uh-huh. um, which that. is that I like, I love, I do love body. Like I love like the female figure and giving like femme illusion yeah. essentially. And I feel like not a lot of girls like do it, like do it well Mm. and like their their excuse is that like oh you know like i just i don't want to wear body like it's not it's not for me but like babe you just can't do it like you can't do it correctly yeah yeah it's it's, hard you haven't summoned the art yeah right exactly yeah Yeah. it's it's a skill set like the whole thing like head to toe drag requires like a lot of different skills Mm. it does and you know it's it's okay that if you don't if you don't have like one of the many skills that you need in order to serve kind <laughs> in drag, but you know it's okay to just admit it and and work on it, yeah. As opposed to just like shun it altogether and be like, no, it's not it's not for me. No, honey, you're not a body girl because you could never, yeah, never, honey. Let's set it. To be fair, that is what I live about you. Like watching you on your season and watching you since then, like you are actually immaculate. Like your your face is gorgeous. Um, your you're hair not, you're is not. something. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the body is fierce. She makes her own outfits, and she does. the fact that you were able to be honest and opinionated on your season, it was okay because you could back it up. Yeah, and I would like to see that I on love TV. That. You know, there are some people that do stuff and say stuff, and they can't back it up, and then no one can. Didi, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is T though. We're, we're sitting like, on Didi, honey. A lot of these girls will give, 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 and even on your season, you gave a lot. You gave a lot of lip but then you backed it up every single time. Yeah, and that's do. why it's just like, you can be a cunt when you back it up and you're serving cunt. Do you get yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Like, obviously, like, there's, there's, like, a limit. Like, of course, like, you have to be self-aware. Like, yeah. that's, that's part of drag, too. I feel like I live for, I don't live for a drag queen who's, like, deluded to the point of, like, okay, girl, like, you're rolling your eyes because it's clearly not, not giving and they think that it's giving Mm. you know what i mean there's nothing that i i i despise like a mediocre drag queen Mm -hmm. um like somebody who is just completely like not self-aware about the fact that they're like mid i feel like that's that's what i admire in somebody i like somebody who doesn't take themselves seriously but like does take does to to an extent take their craft seriously you know what i mean Mm. like we're all we're all like little clowns running around but of course there is a merit in this craft mm. you know what i mean so yeah which is why you know i i always live for a clown of course but i live <laughs> for like a beauty queen i just i live for a bitch that does drag well in whatever capacity that may be I think that's most yeah important. bitch i think yeah. yeah that is it yeah it's like if you there's so many different ways of doing drag and so many different categories you can kind of box it in mm-hmm. um but like it's when the when the people that do it do it well it's fine but i think a lot of people like say they're this, say they're that, and they just, I can't even do that. Like we were saying earlier, we were talking about on the YouTube and we were like, um, what kind of, I said, what kind of drag do you not like? And you kind of said yours. And then I was like, yeah, the one I don't like is the ones that say they're singers and they can't sing. Yeah. And that's Mm. most of the people in the UK. Mm. I see people going up on stage, grabbing a mic, checking their earpiece. Bitch, not one note is on point. You've Mm. not hit one fucking note. And I'm sick of that kind of drag. I'm like, if you're going to be, if you're going to claim you're something, do it well. If you're going to be a makeup queen, do makeup. If you're going to be a body queen, do body. If you're going to sing, fucking hit the note, bitch. Sick of it. You know what? And Crystal was telling me that how, you know, the UK girls... A lot of them like don't don't tend to get along with her, and now I can see why. Yeah. Now I can see why. <laughs> well, they have right. a reason. Um, <laughs> she's right. Right. They don't have a reason. You know, it's, <laughs> it's because at every turn she reads the dog shit out of them. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> We all feel bullied today, actually. But you know what? We were talking about that, too. Like, the difference between, like, the UK or, like, Europe and, like, America is that it's very... 
it's like a cultural thing to be fake yeah. in America. It's yeah. so, so fake. Yeah, it, it is pretty fake, which is why I feel like, you know, growing up in like a Russian, like a more like sort of Eastern European type of household yeah. mm. sort of lent itself to me being like very brutally honest on Drag Race yeah. because I tend to be like a little bit more real with my and upfront with like my opinions. Mm-hmm. Um Obviously, like, I don't want it to be to an extent where I, like, genuinely hurt people's feelings. Of course. Um, that never feels feels quite right. But, like, also, I can't... It's hard for me to, like, hide it mm-hmm. when I, like, personally don't like what somebody is doing. When yeah. somebody's drag is, like, uh, like, boo-boo, booger, like, I hate. I, I'm repulsed. <laughs> like, it's really hard for me to, like, hide it. Like, yeah. it's hard for me to even, like, look somebody in the eyes who like a, like a bus yeah. like like a nasty fucking haggard drag queen standing in front of you and i'm talking about like you know I don't know. <laughs> that said enough. That said no, enough. No. But well, you, you know their names, girl. You yeah. know their names. From, from, but um, so you know, just even like looking them in the eye, I have trouble because yeah. I'm like I'm like a millisecond away from being like, oh, yeah. you're shit, like ever like pointing out every single flaw. Yeah. Do you um, do your do your eyes? Because I do this and I really can't help it. Not the most flawless queen here, but like. If I'm looking at someone and the lace is really off, or there's something really off, I think that's my eye just goes to it. Cool. I feel like everyone. No, but no, but it stays there. No, for sure. Because I had this with a queen in LA. And I didn't mean to. She started talking to me. She's like, how are you? And I was like, yeah, I'm good. But my eye will slowly like look up. <laughs> and I started looking at the hair. And like, she's talking to me. And she kind of slows down and goes, stop looking at my hairline, bitch. And I was like, I'm sorry. No, no, I wasn't like, I'm so sorry. So but like, sorry. it happened. I feel like as queens, though, we all do like, but when you meet a new queen, you have to kind of clock something that's bad for you to have a really good interaction. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I like if I see I like... someone that I really kiki with and we're on a night out and if your wig's not like peeling off or you start looking haggard, well, yeah, I'm like, we're not that. friends. Because like, it can't yeah, always you need be to, a match I, the I, whole time because yeah. you've not had fun. Yeah, I do. Do you get what I mean? True. Like even you, you come home and your wig's in your hand as a purse. Yeah. Like you have to do that otherwise you're not like a part of me yeah you have to have that see i can't deal i really can't deal with a, a queen who's way too serious like i get what you were saying with like the take seriousness in your craft right. but you don't have to like be serious for people to know that you're serious because yeah. yeah. like then you can, i need someone yeah. who i can have a laugh with but I go think- to the gig and like joke here and there have yeah. a good time go out and party if that's not your thing fine mm-hmm. but at least have a like you know let your hair down no a bit. tea for sure, and and like make fun of you know you have to know how to make fun of yourself. Yeah, you know, you, yeah. As a as a as a drag queen, honey, come on, because you know at the end of the day we're all clowns. Honey. <laughs> Literally, I I can't even like look Especially. at Crystal in the eye and call her a clown. I'm like, <laughs> we're cl- no, just just Dee Dee Labelle and myself. Not you. Know, <laughs> not, you know. I'm not a clown. <laughs> no, I'm a clown, and I love being a clown. No, yeah. I, 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 wa- I walked into thing. the house today and Plain went. LaBelle, you don't wear body. <laughs> and I go, don't do this to me. I've said it all over Twitter. She fucking read George just yesterday for it. And I'm like, can I just sit down and not be called the I wasn't. Queen? I wasn't reading George's. I was just giving a friendly, sisterly <laughs> suggestion. I, I, yeah, just I don't was click it on another Twitter girl who was a victim of the body? No, well, a body shamed queen. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, body shamed queen. <laughs> the queen of body shamed. Girl, it's foam. It, I, it ain't even your real body. Anyways, um, what, did, what did you say? You were like, it's it's drag. You weren't born with it. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Honey, yeah. we're all born naked and the rest is drag. Yes, it's not personal because <laughs> yeah. you put it on. Right, exactly. You you put it on, baby. And you we decided. can we can criticize what you put on, including the weight that you gained. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> not that. Not that. Just the, clo- oh. the clothes, the pads. I, it was a joke. <laughs> I, I see now I'm now I'm paranoid. Now I'm paranoid. <laughs> because they, they the kids came for me so fiercely during my season. I, oh, yeah, I but they to, feel like I have to elaborate, you know. Do you actually do you really feel like you have to kind of Girl, the chapel stands came for me. Like, oh yeah, yeah we need to talk like about people, chapel. Yeah, no. Yeah, we, we have, have to. to. But I don't. Girl, we need. We need to dress up. We need to. We need to clear the rumors. Do you like chapel? Girl, or not? she told you, bitch, that she doesn't want to be spoken about. Yeah, she's had enough. Yeah, but your chapel. On you. <laughs> oh wait, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you dress up. <laughs> Can you, yeah tell us? Do you live? What What is the actual tea? I know it was a bit of banter, but what? like, what is the tea? I mean, I I'm like quite. To be completely honest, I'm, like, quite indifferent about, about Chapel Roan. Like, some of her songs are cute. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, like, I, I, don't, I don't have anything against Chapel. I think I, like, tweeted, like, some, some like, offhand thing about her where I, I called, like, um, 
I called her like <laughs> love for drag performative, but I again I apologize for my my mistake and my miscalculation. And I didn't mean it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me tweeting. It was Brick. It was Brick Versace. <laughs> you see she all took over. I tweeted like a like an offhand remark about her. I didn't really know her, n- know much about her or her music, or the fact mm. that she you know was a drag queen or is she a drag was queen? even a lesbian. Fuck. Technically, she is. She or, said she was. Wasn't right. That's her thing, isn't or, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get yeah. it. Yeah, I get it though, because I'm just like I feel like in America you can't say anything without really getting backlash. I think we all say stuff and it's like, if you don't live for someone, it's fine to not live for them. Yeah. But like you, as soon as you don't live for someone, everyone's coming for you. For sure, for sure. But I mean, it, it is what it is. I mm. mean, I I mean, hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look. Well, you dress up as her and take the piss out of everyone else. Is why I exactly, exactly. So I thought I just, I thought I just, you know, since since people like took that took that sort of moment so seriously yeah. and were so like up in arms about it, I was mm-hmm. like, fuck it, like why don't I just dress you up, know, as, her. Dress up yeah. as her? And that like, was so pussy, by yeah, that was fierce. Yeah. Wasn't there a moment where, like, they... Yeah, did you they not annou- me? They announced her for, like, an award. Did she win an award that night? She something did, happened. yeah, she And did. then the announcement, like, the camera, when they said, like, Chabal Roan, they, like, panned to you instead yes. of her. Oh, my God. Because they yeah. thought you were her. They did. They yeah, did. she gets up and starts cheering, and the camera <laughs> thinks it's her. And then, oh they, and then they pan my God. again to the actual Chabal Roan Whoa. next to her. That's hilarious yeah well because chapel was chapel was wearing like a you know sickening joan of arc yeah cosplay moment Work. and i was um Pink i feel like my girl. look was yeah you my look, look more was like more her. sort of signature yeah signature yeah, yeah. Chapel, well yes so. the white face and the, the <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. The so i guess chapel people... with body it was so funny <laughs> <laughs> very that big titted chapel yeah that was fierce though but- but now, now I guess I tread tread lightly when it comes to her because I I honestly don't care for that drama and you know. Pink but White also Club. like I, Pink, I feel like that's a natural thing to do because I like I felt like that when a new I don't know pop star celebrity whatever comes up and you don't really know them and you see them from the get go it's to do with the queer community and blah blah blah. Mm. There are a lot of. Um, singers blow up who've used us right just yeah. to because they know yes. we're a loyal fan base whatever but don't actually give anything back to us or stand yeah. up for anything for us so naturally i guess you get a bit protective yeah. i agree Being like I, who I is this bitch like yeah that. exactly but you know she proved you wrong and whatever and that's fine for people sure. don't need to hold a grudge about it some people are just so because i've seen tweets i've seen stuff being like the paragraphs, I'm like, who has the time to sit there and like write this paragraph on well, something some people that's do. not that well, deep? So. People who have no lives to. People that's why no, you don't like, read yeah. into it. Yeah. yeah, you just don't read it. No. Yeah, you know, Twitter is crazy like that. <laughs> I don't, yeah. <laughs> but here's the deal. Like, I was at, I was actually at the fucking VMAs and I met the real fucking life Chapel yeah, you Road. Did. These fucking, like, l- little stands. Like, we'll never actually get to meet her, to mm-hmm. speak to her. Mm-hmm. Like, I actually got to have, like, a little heart-to-heart moment with her, which mm-hmm. was so cool. So, yeah, and, and I got to meet a bunch of other fucking cool-ass, what? like, celebrities at the VMAs. Yes. It was very sickening. We really felt like stars at the VMAs which I think is sickening. Not to, I mean, I always feel weird talking about this with like international girlies because y'all just don't get the same opportunities. <laughs> and it's, it's really sad. Okay. It's no, sad. We, got the, we got the attitude award. <laughs> <laughs> we got pink news, gal. Calm yeah. down. <laughs> Do you know what? The, so many sickening like entertainers and like actors come from the UK. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, they come over. Pet week. <laughs> not anymore really. not anymore yeah. I don't uh, feel... what do we get we don't really no, get a boy yeah, like back Ray's in the day it was up. like Adele I yeah. mean Winehouse uh-huh. like there were like Ivy icons that were like the f- most famous people in the world yeah I feel like, it, I feel like there's like, no there's a it's few. like a, a silly influencer I think Ray's on obviously like, Ray's, 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 Ray's on next Charlie yeah, XCX Ray. babe yeah oh, true yeah sorry I'm wrong yeah King of events the VMAs what was the most recent thing event you went to and i don't know the person you were referencing but the look was sickening and it was you and yeah. prosthetic cool prosthetic huge tears labelle circumcision no i'm kidding <laughs> uh, <laughs> or like dd circumcision yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, we love a cut queen um <laughs> yeah so that was the emmys that was like literally the the, the week after that oh my god uh, there's just so many events oh god, that we week. have to do so like last minute for How for world of wonder but minute? we're done now girl we're done Oh, so, you're the old batch now. You're old news. That's Emmy. it, girl. We're old news. And we didn't win any Emmys, which is crazy. Because I feel like yeah. season 16 was like a really fantastic season. Much better than season 15. Yes? <laughs> which one's 15? Honey, we're season 15 where Sasha essentially swept. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know, Sasha just ate everyone alive. I yeah. did live for 15. She I won't lie. Terrible. You did? Did they win an Emmy? 15 was mistress in that. Yeah, I um, was 15, on it, but I don't remember watching Yeah, 15 did win okay. an Emmy. And then there was that like that little like drama. I don't know if y'all saw where like uh, Robin Fierce said something like, um, like I'm an Emmy winner or something something about like her winning an Emmy and like us being right. losers or something and oh, it got right. a lot of the girls up in arms That's I was not personally up in arms because I could never be like offended by something that Robin Fierce says <laughs> do you know what I mean <laughs> Like, I honestly was like, oh, that's, like, cute. Like, Bless you. Yeah, no, we live. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, like, what did Jasmine Kennedy say? Have your moment, girl. It's yeah. your moment, girl. This Have is it. your yeah. moment. Have your moment. Have your five minutes. Yeah, I was like, work. But, you know, other other girls were, like, pressed and bothered, I guess. I, I honestly, it's... It just goes to show that these like award shows like really mean nothing because mm-hmm. I think season sixteen was a fantastic season. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, my back hurts. My shoulders hurt from carrying the season on my yeah. back, but cool. you know, like I, I think I made it a fantastic season. I and, believe so as well. To be honest, you know? I think you did one hundred percent. Yeah. I stand by the only reason they kept you there. To if be you honest. weren't on there, <laughs> I don't. Oh yeah, if you were nice. <laughs> if you were oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> She said it's the only reason they kept me on there. It's because of the oh, drama. Yeah. I'm sure some people would love to believe that too. But <laughs> it's not true. My drag is sickening. Okay, Crystal Versace herself, the the god, the uh, the you know grand high priestess, the grandma, <laughs> the grand high witch, out of drag, out of drag, <laughs> out of drag, and and in our drag. goblin sister, bless her. our golem, our golem girl. <laughs> No, it's yeah, sickening. Yeah, yeah, drag is all about the transformation, whether you're attractive as a as a boy out of drag and <laughs> What are you, you trying know, to say, girl? Get or, it out. <laughs> get it out. No, go away. Put the her. put the American flag behind her and the, just, the national anthem. Just tell her yeah. what you really want to say. Just Come on. You, really you want to suck Crystal for such You look like Gollum, but <laughs> it's fierce. I wish I had the courage to sacrifice my my appearance out of drag for, for the in drag, but I I don't, honestly. Well, so, <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You're, this bitch is thinking this bitch already has. She already has. Let me live in my delusion, honey, that I'm, that I'm a cute boy, okay? Oh my god. No, no, you are. No, actually, bringing that up, I need to. You doing that fucking ad holding them toys as a boy oh. is the most Mr. Wait. Bean thing I've ever seen. Mr. Bean! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> It's so Honey, it was it, maybe it was giving Mr. Bean, but with that giveaway, I was giving Mr. Beast. Okay. Yeah, you were giving, office. Giving, yeah, girl. Without a t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, I'm giving that away was the toys. No, oh. it actually that is such a like pet peeve of mine is seeing these girls do these ads, these dildos. The like, yeah. Ads. Girl, you're next. You're oh, saying it's a pet peeve bitch. until they cut you. Oh, the they're gonna have yeah. to pay me a yeah. penny. Speaking <laughs> of everything, your season and obviously the way you were coming across and blah blah blah. Are there any, um, like, a sour feelings still from the season with any of the oh, girls? Oh, I mean, I, I think everything's, everything's, like, fine now. You know, I'm sure that the girls' feelings that I sacrificed for television, <laughs> you know, yes. I'm sure, I'm sure they, you know don't really care for me but like whatever like it is what it is i'm sure we all just want to move on with our lives at this point after yeah yeah. after you know all that because i feel like drama gets exacerbated after like it settled on the show like it blows over we're we were done filming and then like a year later uh it's all rehashed on television Mm -hmm. so uh, like the fan discourse really exacerbates those feelings because yeah. we're over it and the fans start taking sides right. and they really start like, you know, take out their pitchforks and are like, they're either team plane or team whoever. And I guess those those kind of feelings that we were feeling while filming get sort of dug up mm-hmm. and we get sort of pitted against each other in that way yet mm-hmm. again. I don't know if you experienced that with your season. Yeah. But, oh, for sure. You know, so where like, everything was was done and fine and then people started feeling a type of way when the season aired again that kind of stuff is crazier though in the u.s i feel because we talked oh, about yeah. it earlier and we talked about cancellations and stuff and yeah, even like being cancelled like in the states is like everyone takes that really seriously mm-hmm. whereas here it's like we still trying to understand what that even means you know? oh really i feel like not to put my two pence in but i feel like everyone's trying to be a star in america because everyone can well, be. I think like, it's really hard it. to be a star here. Like someone like James, people come for like people come for James so much because the beauty community is so cutthroat and everyone's trying to be that level. Yeah, it's more cutthroat. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, America is a bit more like mm-hmm. that. It's but here it's a bit more like no, everyone's kind of 
either on the same level or like no no one comes for each other like no that. one cares here. no it's not like a no. big thing to come for each other not in the british like even though it's not really that big the british beauty community there's none of that no who is your who is your favorite uk queen apart from us obviously? my favorite okay so i really do love um sminty mm-hmm. okay. i think sminty is love so sminty. kind i love taste of course um taste is is very kind i feel like those two two girls are doing it obviously they don't pad you know how i feel about that <laughs> I was about to say, our two skinny queens. Yeah, I was going to say, the two skinniest ones. Well, I think think the House of Kendall in general, kind of, the... I I mean, I know that the American girls looked at those girls and... For like mug, mug mm-hmm. inspiration too. Yeah, they were. Um, Back in the day, they were really big. Yeah, they were. Their mug, their mugs are are kind. Um, were kind. Has been. No, I'm no they are kind. Yeah, <laughs> no, but I mean, like they were really <laughs> big. Fucking they has been. Really, Nobody like, cares yeah. anymore. Yeah. No, no, I'm kidding. You're still, you're still fierce divas. And then. Um, Bones and flesh, flesh and bones. Yeah. Yes. What do they have? Like a third? Do they no, have like? Do they, no. It, it, they used to. It, back oh, it's just day. flesh bones. Oh, yeah, and, they used to. Yeah. Oh, who, who was it? Day. No, you wouldn't know. Skin. No. They were called muscle. 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 And yeah. they were like a muscular sort of person. Yeah, ma- muscle. But I think they... Oh, did they? Was that their like little three way? No, because oh, I know that because you. Oh, you want to get in on that, honey? You would have lived for muscle, honey. No, you would have lived for muscle. My DMs are open, muscle. (laughs) Uh, What about clam? (laughs) Um, Haddock. (laughs) Yes. Fish. No, yeah, but... Fish is kind of back, by the way. Fish is so back. Because I know you got got flack on your season for saying fish. Yes. Right? Do you mean to tell you the actual story of, like, when this first came about? Okay, tell us. I reached the top four. Someone else didn't. And they thought they did. Or they thought they would have. Um, and I was there doing my verse and I did come taste this dish mm. Mm, you wish that was the end of my Christmas verse. yeah she was behind stage listening I came off stage <laughs> she came up to me and went oh, what, what did you that? say and I went what do you mean she went what did you say up there did you say fish I went no I said dish it's in my lyrics she went yeah you better not have said fish anyway what and, off, and that was the first time I went, I am not a fan of this bitch. Um, and look, fish oh. is popping. It's in the dictionary. And it's at the tip of my tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fish fish kind of came back, didn't it? So bad. But, the, it but did, it, did it ever, like, did it ever reach America where people stopped saying it? No. I mean, yes. Did yeah. it? Really? I, f- I feel like it was a conver- It was a point of conver- It was a topic of conversation on like mm. many different, many different things. It was a thing. I think it was discussed on like Canada's Drag Race. Yeah. I think it was discussed on like Dragula. Yeah, yeah. Um, it has been discussed a few times. Yeah. I don't think it's been dis- it's been touched on 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 the like U.S. US Drag Race franchise. Yeah. But I think it was definitely it was definitely a thing at one point. I think, of course, the the infamous, the now infamous Ninta Bonita. Brown, who gets cancelled every two seconds oh, yeah. for something. <laughs> I'll pay the queen. Was, yeah, was, yeah people were giving also, like, on her ass for saying fish. But um, I think that, like, um, it came into it came into contention with, like, ballroom culture because yeah. it was, like, um, such a... It was, like, such a, such a thing. Yeah. It, was, it was, like, a terminology that was part of ballroom, like, slang. So people were, like, it's it's been around. It's, like, it's not derived from, it, like, misogyny or, like, no, a misogynistic no. sort of, like, sentiment. It's, <clears throat> it's like, it has nothing to do with that. No. So um, I think that, like, yeah. I, I think it's, it's one of those cases where people, like, double down too fiercely on, like, cancel culture mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. where, the, you know, people sort of had to scale back and be like this is too much like we're yeah. doing we're doing too much That's exactly what yeah um and i i think there is it it is like it is like hard these days but you know we need to find we need to find a balance I agree. we need to find a balance because <clears throat> like we can't just make everything everything that like sort of is is part of like ballroom culture and like queer culture and drag mm-hmm. culture like sort of off limits mm-hmm. because you know, that's part of what makes it, like, unique. It's yeah. part of what... The person that tried to tell me that you can say fish, who you know, also tried to have something to say about breastplate. Yeah, they tried to cancel the breastplate didn't as well. Want, didn't want me wearing... And I'm like... Oh. That's where it gets a bit crazy. So I can't do feminization. I can't turn myself into a woman. You're telling me I can't do drag anymore. Okay, this is where I completely Migrates agree. into, like, turf world. This yeah. is where I get it, because some people... 
some people wear a breastplate and they do it and they make it like appreciate the women body and the pads and everything and then some people take the piss where they will have the breastplate get get them out do stuff to it and like take the piss out of tears me. basically <laughs> but, me, like, me boots. but like people get upset when it's like that and like they're trying to be like that's taking the piss out of a woman so i kind of get it like mm. that i get it but then do you get what i mean i get to, it like that a little bit but then to fight that case when i see a drag king perform from my personal experience mm. i've seen a lot of like taking the piss out of the male genitals personally that's what i've seen a lot. but i personally just don't care about that's any of thing. that i literally i could I, like and i'm not saying anything on the whole like breastplate thing obviously you've kind of got to if someone came up to you and said hey i really don't like this word and it makes me feel this sort of way duh, 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 then i feel like in that scenario you have to respect that mm-hmm. but then that same thing might not apply to everyone else it's when people stand up and they go i'm speaking for everyone here mm-hmm. but you're actually not no. i will always respect so like i will never say words do things obviously everyone knows their morals yeah no one's you know not everyone is stupid um but uh, for me it's a personal thing if you're personally not comfortable with me doing something in front of you that many other people are find mm-hmm. funny or whatever then i will adjust to that personally yeah. that's just how i work yeah mm-hmm. but well, not to an extreme extent for sure for sure and with the with the like breasts thing and like the the sort of like over the top sort of like kind of clownish sexual yeah. sexualized mm. humor I feel like it's just, it's just clownish. It's just a clown act. Like if you kind of, you just need to sort of separate drag and like the fact that, you know, we're just, we're both like expressing ourselves. We're like expressing our femininity. We're like, you know, uh, essentially doing this like sort of cosplay where we're presenting like a a femme version of ourselves Mm -hmm. and like a femme character. You kind of have to separate that from like, um... I don't know the concept of like actual m- mockery because yeah. it's it's yes. not it's not mockery it's we're we're only sort of mocking ourselves. Mm-hmm. We're, I was going to say yeah. We're we're you know we're just sort of expressing ourselves and we're just clowning clowning around. It's it's really it's not done in a way that's like intent on mocking like women. No, you it's, know. I think the humor is because it's obviously uh-huh. like for my drag it's obviously a drag queen it's a man with a wig on yeah mm-hmm. and that's what is funny it's the playing with gender and being playful with yeah. it and allowing everyone to just kind of go oh like the, the, weight off the shoulders mm-hmm. let's just have fun let's have a laugh mm-hmm. it's not that deep it's but, just drag but that's so different for me though it's like really? I, I did a gig the other day because you're not binary yeah but i am but, oh yeah excuse me but like <laughs> I, no i actually am <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> No, but it's the other day. I literally did a gig. And it's not even about that. It's more like I I did a gig and it was quite awful. And a woman came up to me, took a picture of me and then walked away. And like she's come back like 30 minutes later, grabbed my shoulder, launched me to the, her phone again. Oh my God. With someone on FaceTime being like, tell, tell her you're a man. Tell her you're a man. I'm like, sorry? And I'm like, whoa, you need to get away from me. Yeah. And I'm mm. like... One, I I don't like that. I don't like being called a man when I'm in mm. drag because I don't identify as a man. I'm literally, as a, I'm just as a woman for starters. Mm. And I'm not in like DD geesh. I'm like, <laughs> I'm actually like, I feel like a woman. And I don't know. I hate that. Yeah. That's my one. I can't, I, yeah. I can't no, explain no, I don't know cool. where, I don't know what I am. You're like morphine. You're like morphine. Watch out, cause here yeah, I like, come. Oh. Oh. <laughs> No, but it's just for them. It's like it's like pending. Yeah. I'm just well, like, you're, yeah. I feel like that's I just more to don't do with know. Your identity. I just hate that. Like mm-hmm. I get it when some people are like, "Look, I'm a man." <laughs> uh, that's not me. I'm like my drag very is so me. not that. Very plain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very you. <laughs> Excuse me. No, the fuck it isn't. This is, a, when un- let it be known, I'm a dainty, tiny, unclockable female woman, biological. Yes. Female woman. Me as well. Female woman. Well, I think girl. we are twins. She, her. When you don't have this she, makeup. She, her. Not even she, they. I'm she, her. <laughs> <laughs> I feel she like we are she quite. <laughs> that yeah, is I am day. she, they. I'm she, we. 
She's she weep. I'm not gonna. She weep. It's, it's not la belle. It's la la belle. La belle Maduro. And I was like, not in London. I was like out of town on a gig mm-hmm. that was like already not looking after me didn't give me a drink made me feel very like I, I I wasn't a rude girl so I wasn't important but they've also booked me out of London and paid me a fee so I'm like why why have I just got here and they've looked at me like scum and then people there treat me like scum and I was very much like okay that's what you do and then the people there were treating me like like the actual people watching the show when then grabbing me like vultures yeah. do you yeah, yeah, experience yeah. that kind of behavior in the u.s yeah do you get this um do you know what at venues where at venues where it's like sort of more straight coded mm-hmm. like usually usually sort of if it's a club setting with like like if it's like a queer club and there are queer people there then usually they're sort of more respectful even though of course like people can sort of get rowdy and like rambunctious when they're lit and drunk mm-hmm. um straight straight people and like um straight women at like bachelorette parties can be pretty like grabby and mm-hmm. like um i'm there are like plenty of like videos of some bitch like getting on stage with a drag queen or like grabbing a drag queen you Been know long. I mean? yeah. yeah yeah but like yeah that's definitely like crossing a boundary yeah because we're we're performers we're Mm -hmm. entertainers and you know we do want to make people you know feel good and and, you know it's even it's it's even that a lot of the uk huns like a lot of our women that come to brunch will like especially with dd because obviously it's so it's so big Mm -hmm. it's so like the body proportions are so crazy that like someone will come up to her grab her breasts be like are these real and then go down to touch down below start rubbing that and dd's like uh, 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 no, uh, uh, and they should tell them off, but then they don't care. They just laugh and walk well, away. I'm literally, like, what? I've had this once where someone came up to me and went, "Are these? No, when can I touch these?" As she proceeded to just like grab them, I'm like, "Whatever." It's like literally this so far off my chest. Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Whatever," and I was like, "Oh, just so you know, like." I'm a chill person, live and you learn, whatever. But a lot of girls will have a really big problem with that. Mm. So just don't, you know, ask before or just, you know, just be polite about it. Don't just go in for the grab while you're yeah. asking the question. And she goes, yeah. And then she grabs my, my crotch. Wow. And it was, I was like chuckled a bit. Cause I was like, you dumb bitch. But like, I was like, yeah, but what that's are you not doing? Fair. And her friend, her that. friend had to drag her away. If some it's girl did that to me, they would like feel crazy. my actual, like, cause I don't wear well, yeah, that's when hand. I had to go Mom, off. If they, if they grab me, something's yeah. going to ping them right back in the eye. Honey, you know I, what I mean? I've become a criminal. I'm like... I'll be, I'll be locked away if that fucking woman... Get criminalised. Don't <laughs> Christmas Oh, honey, time. get criminalised. Honey, and if you touch Crystal's hair, honey, it's it's a wrap. Oh, it's a wrap. Mm. It's a wrap. I'm going to wrap you up like a present on Christmas Day. Yes, she will. <laughs> I will. If you touch her hair, it's going to fall off, so don't touch it. <laughs> no, baby, that's me, honey. <laughs> People are feral. I just feel like... I mean, I might be wrong, but like, as I said to you, I've... I've toured a lot in the states i've been to a lot of shows and there's just always been a different energy over there than like the shit we've had to deal with here like as soon as you go out of london bitch they're animals mm. i'm sorry about it but like i've done the gigs here i've been to the different places mm. these people are not even like it's not even about dealing with drag and knowing the rules of drag it's like feral but so sorry get I'll, your visas girl i'll say one more I'll get say, my green card let's marry i'll say one <laughs> i'll say one more thing is that i think in america people are involved by tipping Yes, mm, because the, for sure. because our in the UK no like it is very much drag queen audience. There's no involvement. So as soon as you're off stage and you know, there's a break, they're all like, yeah. oh, I see. But yeah. I think in America, them tipping you and maybe holding your hand mm-hmm. for five seconds mm-hmm. is their fulfillment that they've done. They've mm-hmm. done their deed and they over be nice by doing that, yeah. even though they're not doing wrong. But, but maybe it, maybe y'all should. Why is there no tipping culture in the UK? Because we got coins, like, honey. Oh, you got coins. Yeah. Uh, I've done culture. I've done a gig before, um, and it actually worked quite worked out quite well. Where you pay a pound for two tips. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you get like, and tokens. they're like yeah. they're like there'll be like a printed out d- a dollar bill with the drag queen running the event's um, face on it. Something okay. silly. You tally it all up. Let the promoter know how much you got, and they add it to your your fee. It's never anything crazy, but it is, it is nice that, yeah. that, that it gets you involved with the audience. And also sometimes in the UK, I find this, like if I'm doing a dancey mix and there's kind of a moment where it's not giving that, uh-huh. like I can be silly or stupid, but I'm just, I'm standing there like, right. Yeah, but that's, that's one thing I don't, that's the one thing I don't like is that in a, in a UK, we all, we all go off. Mm. 
and but we don't it's... expect to be tipped. But in America, mama, someone does a split on not even a beat and they're like, mm mm-hmm. Do you remember? Yeah. This girl was just like, this girl literally walked on, jumped into the split <laughs> and then goes, pay up. Yeah. Very like this. And everyone just walks and gives her a tip. She gets back up, does another split, <laughs> puts her arm back out. And I'm like, girl, could you imagine if that? Mm. It's crazy. Even when we were getting tipped out there, it's very like, it is what you said. We would do the caca boom. And then as soon as we got like 20 seconds to feel yeah, God, kind of we like, would then do it. Yeah. But like these girls are like, bam. Well, to nothing. Yeah, drag the song the, silent. Yeah. <laughs> drag in the US sort of like like exists is built on like tips. It's like pussy, this, I this, live. this like tipping tipping culture. That's like how the local girls, the nasty local girls, make <laughs> all of their make all of their money. That's how I would make most of my drag income before the show is mm-hmm. tips. And it's literally, it's nice because, you know, you walk around, you just, you collect, you mm-hmm. collect, honey. That's, that's really what it is, um, which that's is That's why we love of, it. It's, it's kind of like, yeah, it would be very, very different and interesting if, if that wasn't the case. Mm. Because like you said, Didi, like you do your little two-step and then you're like on stage for the rest of the song. Like, <laughs> it's very like, yeah. But I look at, people that because, sometimes just don't yeah. even give a shit. And right. All, yeah. And it's very much like the American girls, like are just like you can tell who like the local queens there are just like there's so many that me and crystal were just like fascinated by who are just generally stars just not had their moment yet right and you just sit there and we me and crystal would just get our tips and we're like as soon as we saw someone like wow we're like piling them up to give them a big fat check because you just have to because they just the the drag there is just so great and they love it because they know they're getting something out of it while performing do you get do you remember that, do you remember, um, what's her name? Mariah from Mariah. New York? Oh, Mariah. Oh, oh, Mariah. Mariah. Mariah, yeah. Fuck! Mariah, Mariah yeah. New York, she's sick. Babe, she yeah, is like next with level. Yeah, she's insane. Yeah, she's, she's, like, she's great. When I watched Gorgeous. her, I said, I've not seen like someone be this polished, like ever. Like it just everything she did, like performance wise, I was just like, yeah, wow. I was like fascinated. Cool. I just couldn't cool. believe it. The, yeah, the New York, shout out to the New York girls. Because yeah, when I, they when all, I did my gigs. They all did a damn thing. Yeah, they're great. It was, yeah, it was. Yeah, fun. I love their little culture over there. Okay, so we're going to take it to the group chat. Um, hey, Jane. This is when our listeners, our gorgeous listeners, write in some anonymous messages, ask for advice, ask for what the tea is from these gorgeous girls. Mm-hmm. Sickening. So someone has written in today, and from the first three words, I am sensing they're American. Mm-hmm. Oh. should be fitting. Um, my drag mom, who was on season 15, hosts a show but has never once given me any opportunities. She did ask for my wigs and dresses because I have impeccable style, but I can't help but to think she doesn't believe in my performance capability. Do I just suck or am I reading too much into it? Well, name names, honey. Who is your drag mom who was on season 15? Hey. Um, so she never gets an opportunity from this girl to like yeah. perform or, perform do, or st- do, do anything. anything. Oh, well, maybe. But they, they take all her fashion tips, all her knowledge. Well, what the fuck are we supposed to help you with, bitch? Like, damn, Do this this, this bitch clearly reason? doesn't like you. No. And yeah. she's clearly using you, and that's yeah. fucked up. And and She is using you. You know, I doubt I doubt that your drag mom is Sasha Colby, because Sasha Colby seems like a very nice, gorgeous, and genuine and stunning individual. If I was to guess who your drag mom is, <laughs> um, it's probably... Uh, Mistress Isabel Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that you need to disown her as your mother, as I have. Yeah. And, no, mother um, me, please. I'd live. No, I haven't disowned her as my mother yet. Her and Lux, Snore London, will be duking it out for who my mother is yeah. in the new Wow Presents original show, Who is Mother? <laughs> Come in. Next year. Coming next year in 2025. <laughs> Stay tuned. But in any case, yeah, uh, that does not sound like a good a good friend or a good drag mother. No, drag no. mother, sh- in my experience, should be helping you out. Yeah. They should be number one. They should be getting yeah. you gigs. Drag mother. Oh, damn. It's not like... Oh, 100%. You don't, you don't have a drag child to just take off them. No. Because you're, ta- like, you're the mum and you're taking off your child. They're right. like maybe fashion and hairstyle mm. and abilities, but they're not giving them a privilege to gig or try and learn anything more about drag. 100%. So no, that's not your mum. No. Period. And Mom's if- taken her wigs and ma- and wigs and uh, dresses. This poor girl shiver- shivering in an empty drag room, no makeup, no wigs, just crying, that sounds like looking at her phone, seeing me. stories of her <laughs> drag mom popping puss on stage. She's book- <laughs> she, book- she books gigs and she's a book tell. No, that's nasty. I think you're a vile bitch. Yeah. Oh. Whoever you are, mm-hmm. you shouldn't have kids. 
they should be in foster I know care. Who it is. Foster care, honey. Do you know they what I mean? You need write, your tubes tied, honey. They always write about someone who's on Drag Race, and I'm like, I want to fucking know. This okay, yeah, right. I want to. If know, you want us to know behind the scenes, please get a private DM. If you want us to know who you are, but you also want us to give us a really juicy thing, yeah. you can. We won't say your name. Um, well, we'll follow we can't. Them. It they, doesn't show up. They can say their names. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay, God. I think that, it's I all think anonymous. If we say the names, maybe if the person who no, of course, about right, right, right. yeah, they might clock on yeah. Who but no, I'm just saying if they want to DM us it. And then say this is anonymous. Don't say my name, but love you girls. I mean, I'll be like, fucking want... work. Yeah. <laughs> we won't mention. It. Like we... my mum's this, this, this. I'll go. Yeah, she's a fucking cunt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right. And you guys have and a little, I will like, agree. DM chat about it. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Anyway, plain. Oh. It's come to the end of our gorgeous episode. Yeah, you been... fucking made sure of it. Yeah, and, it, <laughs> and, it, get and it has been absolutely vile to have you. But well, thank you. My last question is: It's it, you really. Reeks from yeah, this, I know this it does. Of the room. It, no, it does. Stay. Yeah, it gives something. Garlic palm. Uh, <laughs> the garlic palm. Yeah, it's garlic palm in it. <laughs> Our last little question is: We normally end it with a girl of the week. Mm-hmm. Um, we just want to know who your girl of the week would be. Someone you love, just anyone, just someone who you really think needs Who's some validation the, right now. The forefront of your mind. Yeah, anyone, good or bad. It can be the be girl a, of the week. A, a, a drag sister of yours, someone family, someone in the a media. Celebrities, a celebrity, like, opened your eyes. Someone anyone. who's, like, really doing it for you right now. Um, I would have to say Chapel Roan. <laughs> <laughs> Why, girl? Why um, Chapel Roan? Why? No, honestly, Dua Lipa for <laughs> <laughs> Um, because, because I oh. have that pickle pickle coke has been on my mind for forever. Yeah. But of course, obviously, I'm also always thinking about my sweet sweet sister at home, Big Atlas, my twin. I love you. Yes, yeah. Atlas. We love you, Big Atlas. Uh, we love Big you, Big Atlas. Atlas. Big Atlas. Yeah. yeah. Was that the next? First name Big, last name Atlas. Yeah, yeah. First name Big, last name Atlas. So they, they, call her, they call we her Bigiana. You. They call her Bigiana. Bigiana. <laughs> Miss Bigiana. Yeah, Miss Bigiana. I, I got to meet Alice briefly outside the hotel. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, and you said we were undistinguishable, right? Yeah, well, yeah, that like was Like a it. carbon yeah. copy of me. Yeah, like Atlas uh. walked. They were like on the other side of the room, walked by the booth. And I looked and then I popped my head out and was like, oh, hi, bitch, like that. Because I thought it was plain. Mm. And then she kind of turned and went, oh, oh. And then just reacted back. But then I kind of went back to the booth and went, oh. Ah! <laughs> you no, know, because I was like, you know that awkward interaction when you, mis- well, you mistake someone. But do you know what? I have a uh, my drag family back back home, the Dew Dynasty. We're called the Dew Dynasty. The Dew Dynasty. Um, I feel like we're very, we're very like, Versace, Versace coated. I feel nice. like, yeah, we're we all have very like fierce mugs, or so we like to think. I think you um, do. Thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're all just we're all just rotted skunks. What? Oh, so we so live. We yeah. live. Yeah. So That's shout, exactly. Shout out to who else? Shout out to Binks, my other sister. Shout out to all of our daughters. And we love you. And I want to meet. I want to meet them all. Yeah. I yeah. want to come oh to. Are they all nasty cunts like you? They 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 are the nastiest. Uh, we're gonna all fit in so well. Oh, yeah, we, I, yeah. we'll be like the ultimate house. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. We'll combine houses. Maybe we'll make oh a little God. Barbie house. Ah, that would be Imagine. sick. Name. Yeah, that would be sick. Versace X Do coming wow. soon. <laughs> what was it when the YouTubers used to like have a massive house? What was like, it? Oh my God! Ten. Like the the OT it's like ten, ten and like the, the, the phase oh. yeah. like, house. Hi, yeah. yeah, we. I feel like we. Oh my God! There needs to be like a drag content house. Let's do it. Maybe we make yes. it. Imagine. Oh my there gosh! There needs to be we y'all. There needs to be one in like either here or L A or like somewhere. We need to make a LA. content L A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do. We're okay. We're starting a content house in L A. If you want to join us, we'll have like an application thing. Oh my God! No, we judge no. the audience. We sit there on a little judging. Panel. If you want yes. this to happen, we're gonna set up a little GoFundMe. You're gonna put some money in so we can get a big fat house <laughs> yeah. for us. Oh, okay. And then we do it. And we just install cameras Work. as well. And it would just be like some like fat big brother. Yeah. Oh, like, that'd be full sick. of dolls. Girl, we yeah. need more reality television, we drag do. reality shows, Dude. other than just drag race. It's I getting agree. stale. It's getting stale it out is there. It's getting stale. It very much like people would actually die and live and 
breathe, burn, mm-hmm. poo, whatever mm-hmm. over it. Like, it would be so gaggy to have something a bit more, like, real. Yeah. About Let's drama. do it. We need more gays on television. And it's, uh, obviously, the election is coming up. So make sure you're registered to vote, honey. Mm-hmm. Yes, because we need more gay shit out there. We do. Um, and, yeah, l- less nasty, conservative, hateful media. And I just need Kamala, like, just chuckling at everything on every single debate, TV, whatever. I need her as president. Like, yeah. I live for Kamala. Well, listen, your forehead fell out of a coconut tree. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's quite small today, to be fair. It is. It is it's very demure, very mindful. Yes. 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 Today, yes. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Plain Jane, for being part of the girls. Thank, thank you, Mother. You. Thank you for adding to the vulnerness that we already are. Yeah, of course. Thank you, thank you for being a part of the family. Extra vulgar episode. Oh, it's, it's such a beautiful key. Thank you so much for having me. I can't wait to be back. Yes, yes for sure. Yes. Well, you guys know to catch us every Sunday on uh-huh. here, the channel. You can also stream us on Spotify. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you ring the label icon. Somewhere and here. stay tuned every Sunday for some more tea and gossip from the girls. We are <laughs> the, <laughs> the girls. We, <laughs> we are the click. The click. <laughs> we are the, the girls. girls. We love Bye. you and see you soon. Wow. Burger finger. Burger finger and all Burger that shit. Finger. Burger finger. Oh, 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 oh,